Director of the CDC says vaccinating teachers is not a prerequisite for the safe reopening of schools and there is little evidence of widespread transmission in classrooms. 12 News reporter Alexander Leslie joins us now. Alex, some states putting teachers at or near the front of the line in hopes of getting students back into the classroom. Right, so as of right now, only Oregon and Idaho have bumped teachers ahead of seniors not living in group settings. Teachers and K through 12 staff, as we know, though, have been advocating to be prioritized in both Massachusetts and Rhode Island. In the Bay State, early education and K through 12 staff are in the third tier of phase two. So that's after adults 75 plus and 65 plus. Now in Rhode Island, teachers are not specifically prioritized, despite calls from governor in waiting Dan McKee. McKee later clarified comments that teachers shouldn't go before vulnerable seniors, but should still be prioritized. The Rhode Island Department of Health says the state's criteria for phase two makes more than 50% of teachers eligible to be vaccinated. Meantime, Oregon's decision to vaccinate teachers ahead of some seniors is coming under fire. When seniors are affected by this, they have lots of underlying conditions and they're more prone to dying. So I think that's, that's the concern. Now, the CDC says that eight out of 10 COVID deaths in the U.S. involve adults 65 and older. The agency says adults 65 to 74 are five times more likely to be hospitalized, and the risk of death in that age group is 90 times higher. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.